Hey, how you doing? So I'm putting up some of my recommended Red Dead Redemption 2 settings for optimization for the PC. Uh, I feel these settings, uh, from based on my testing, are going to give you the best uh, bang for your buck for your fidelity for graphics, as well as performance, and uh, you're going to be well above the 60 uh, FPS. Now, obviously, the resolution is going to matter. I'm running on a RTX 2080 with an i5 9600K, everything stock. I've also tested these on 1080p on a 1660, and I'm getting on average like around 79 to 85 um, frames per second in the benchmark test, and I'm sitting at 60 frames per second locked uh, because I cap the frames when I play. But um, when I'm doing 60 frames per second, the CPU, the the cores, and the CPU are are barely running like around 75% on average. But then in a few situations. Um, hitting uh, 90%. Now you want that buffer because you want better input latency and also you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a headroom for your system to do some other stuff in the background. If you're streaming, recording, uh, running some other applications in the background, obviously you could tweak these settings if you want slightly better performance. Um, now something you're going to see while I compare Vulkan and uh, DX12 is that while I'm recording, even though the game was running smoothly, while I'm recording in Vulcan, there is going to be a little bit of stutter that's going to come up in the uh, gameplay. So now you see on the screen I have them side by side. And in this scene, as it goes through, you're going to notice that Vulcan on the left is a little bit more stuttery, even though you are getting better frames per second. Now that's for NVIDIA cards. However, if you are playing with an NVIDIA card and you're hitting Vulcan, which you are going to get better frames per second, and you're recording or streaming, if you're hitting up against the performance buffer all the way to the wall, you're going to find that the recordings are going to have a little bit of stutter, jaggies. Uh, it's not going to record as well. So if you just want to play, then yeah, go ahead and use uh, Vulcan. If you're doing AMD, it's a different story. Vulcan is very well optimized for AMD, and that's mainly because Vulcan um, uses the Vulcan API, uses the um, dedicated uh, normal CUDA cores. Uh, so for NVIDIA, you're using the, the CUDA cores to share uh, resources to record, where XDX12 is optimized on NVIDIA cards to use your uh, dedicated NVENC encoder. So that NVENC encoder is a side process. It's not working against the GPU or the CPU. It's a whole separate chipset. Uh, so that DX12 can take, can take care of that, leverage it, sorry, that's what I meant to say, um, can leverage it without any kind of performance hit. So you're going to have much smoother recording or streaming. Uh, if you're using X264 for recording, then yeah, that's a whole different point. But if you are using NVENC, I would recommend sticking to DX12. Uh, even though you do lose a little bit on your uh, frames per second. But again, it's going to be up to you, whichever one you prefer. But if you just want raw frames per second, Vulcan does give you that. You're getting about a 8 to 10% performance increase. And you're going to see that right now when we do the uh, final uh, frames uh, result at the end of the uh, benchmarking test. Uh, Vulcan absolutely gives you better results. So hope that helps um, and if you have any questions feel free to let me know there you go you can see the performance on the screen um, yeah Vulcan's a little better okay let me know if you have any questions and thanks